So let's start drawing our floor plan. Let's say I have a new build. I'm still in the conceptual phase, but I do know that our home is going to be 46 feet, six inches by 34 feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate my rectangle tool up here or press the letter R. I'm gonna click in the upper left-hand corner, click and release, and drag it down. Okay, so now you can see the dimensions going crazy over here in the bottom right-hand corner. So now I know, I, like I said, I want it to be 46 feet, six inches. So press four, six feet, six inches, comma, by 34 feet. Press enter. Okay, so now I've got our rectangle that is 46 feet, six inches by 34 feet. Okay, so if you accidentally did inches, go ahead and retype that and press enter or you can press Command Z to start over, you know, back it up, start over. We need a rectangle that is 46 feet, six inches, comma, 34 feet, enter. Okay, that'll create your rectangle that we see here. Now I want my rectangle to be in the middle of this axis area. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate my select tool by pressing my space bar, or you can press this arrow up here now select your rectangle somewhere in the middle. You don't want to select any of these lines on the side. You want to select the middle. Now activate your move tool by pressing M or clicking this icon right here, these four arrows. Activate your move tool. Now you're going to click and release and you've grabbed on to your rectangle. Let's put it somewhere in the middle of this axis area. It doesn't have to be perfect. Click and release to let go. You may need to practice that. Click and release, click and release. Okay, so now I wanna zoom in. I wanna fill up the screen with this rectangle. So I'm on my trackpad, so I'm gonna do two fingers up. If you don't have a trackpad that does that for you, use your scroll wheel on your mouse or press Z for zoom. Click this icon, there's lots of different ways. Click, up, makes it bigger, down makes it smaller like we said before. Okay. Now I'm gonna activate my pan tool by pressing H, which is H for hand, or you can click on the hand up here. I'm gonna make it somewhere in the middle, however you need, if you need to move it around. Okay, so now I know I want my walls to be 10 inches thick. So I've still got it selected. If you don't have it selected still, make your selection tool active, click on your rectangle, got it selected. This is not selected. This is selected, you want it selected. Okay, so now let's go to offset. That's this icon right here. It's got the arrow pointing diagonally towards these circular lines, this black and this red one. So you can press that to activate offset or you can press the letter F. Okay, click in the middle of the rectangle somewhere in the middle and click, click and release and then drag up and down. You can see that it will create this rectangle within your outer rectangle. Okay, I want my walls to be 10 inches thick. So don't click and release, but you wanna type in 10. Now it'll default to inches, so you don't need to write inches. You can if you want for good practice, but I'm just gonna write 10. Click enter. Okay, so now it's got 10 inch walls. If you need to check it for any reason, you can use your tape measure. Click on this tape measure or press the letter T, and you can zoom in up here. Click, and you can see it's 10. So you can click down again, look down here in your information box, 10 inches. All right, now I've got these lines right here. I'm gonna erase those with my E, shortcut E eraser over right here. Pan it back over. All right, so that was just a check. You don't need to do that if you don't want to. All right, we've got 10 inch thick walls. Now, I find this blue, blue uh, rectangle distracting. I like everything to just be white and clean and clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up here to my window toolbar, or sorry, window uh, menu, and go down here to styles. Click on styles, window, styles. Now, currently we're on this one. For the sake of drawing together, let's all select this third one. One, two, three, over. This one. All right, it's called Hidden Line. 
Okay, now go ahead and press the red circle, X out of that. Now I've got a nice clean floor plan that we're working on. So you can still select the boxes, but we don't have that distracting blue box. 